am Tim, welcome to Watch Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Hublot Oceanographic 4000, 48 millimeters in brushed titanium. This one of 1000 limited edition can be seen and purchased on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This oceanographic is a certifiable sea monster, a whale in its own right. It's all titanium and composite, so it's not particularly heavy, but boy does it have presence. This has the look of a missile sub on your forearm. If you're looking for a watch that's big, bold, that makes the statement of precious metal and gems without actually going big bling or jewel crusted, this is it. Now, for 2011, Hublot didn't exactly release its first dive watch, but the Oceanographic 4000 was by far its most extreme ever. You get a sense of just how massive the watch is from the side. Maybe massive is the wrong word because it doesn't have a lot of mass, but it has a lot of volume. 20 plus millimeters thick. It really stands tall on the wrist. Fortunately, because it does have such narrow lug spacing, this King Power sized 48 millimeter case doesn't necessarily wear any broader lug to lug. And I'm going to show you it on my wrist again. It doesn't necessarily wear any broader lug to lug than the standard 48 millimeter King Power. It's just the visual impact of the watch is so much more. And part of that is that almost Terminator-inspired technical aesthetic. Everything from the partially relieved and bolted bezel to the layered case construction to this impressively detailed and, I must say, protected internal rotating bezel crown right here at 2 o'clock. This watch looks like a machine for diving, very much a miniature submarine. This little mini sub is a complex piece of artwork, and I do mean it because when a watch is designed to dive to 4,000 meters or 13,120 feet, image only goes so far. Now, there are those who look at Hublot as an image watch, but this watch is equal parts engineering and image. So yes, the attitude is there, but so is the engineering and the substance. Now, those of you who are familiar with the old 1960s super compressor cases are quite familiar with the internal rotating dive bezel. This one goes one better compared to the older ones by using a full titanium all aspect crown guard for the actual adjustment crown itself a screw down piece. And then you'll see I'm ratcheting the wheel of the crown in my hand and you can see the bezel is only moving unidirectionally, so you have layers of protection to ensure that that bezel doesn't rotate backwards and accidentally extend your dive. And for those of you who may not have owned a dive watch before, I'm going to quickly show you the utility of the internal rotating bezel. You align that little triangular index with the minute hand, and now you have a 0 to 60 minute timer. You can use it for anything from actual diving, I know, can you imagine, to timing barbecue cook times. But the bottom line is having a set it and on the fly type general purpose zero to 60 second circular chronograph, if you will, is very convenient. I know I had an external rotating dive bezel on my old college watch and I used to use it to time tests. But this watch is designed for hunting bigger game. So inspired by the Oceanographic Museum of Monaco, which is actually an aquarium, this watch features a unique engraved case back showcasing the logo of the museum itself. Now, it was the first of two collaborations between Hublot and the museum, the first being the 2011 Oceanographic 4000, and the second being the Oceanographic 1000 Chronograph. Now, I've handled both titanium and precious metal variants, and I have to say that, for my money, the titanium variant is probably the more manageable, the more user-friendly, the easier one to wear. And part of that is just that it has less visual and physical, shall we say, wrist real estate to take up. Because it doesn't have the chronograph functions, it doesn't take up quite as much space on the wrist. Now, neither one of these is going to wear like an ultra-thin, but I feel like this one, from an ergonomic standpoint, has the leg up. But the refinements are common to both, including the quick-release car seatbelt buckle style lugs. I'll show you how that works. You simply depress the lug button right here and you pull the strap off. Now you can fit a special extended textile dive strap that Hublot includes with this watch so you can wear it up to an 8 millimeter thick dive suit and that does include extreme dive suits such as the type that might be used to dive beyond the limits of human physical capability. The watch does feature the obligatory ultra deep diver helium release valve right here at 10 o'clock and of course 
for on-the-fly adjustment and ease of use, you can't beat a pin buckle. This is a superior one, though, with a similar layered aesthetic that matches the construction of the case, and likewise, no fewer than, or I should say, no less than four titanium black PVD Ublo H-style bolts. You can see that it's a signature motif, recurs throughout the watch, but layering is the operative word here. Ublo, from its very beginning, stressed materials fusion, first gold and rubber, but now composite rubber, titanium. This watch has a lot going on from a material standpoint, and it has that very mechanical look, almost like something a T-1000 would wear in the Terminator movies. Sorry, Arnold. Sorry, Audemars. But when I imagine the Terminator, you know, the bare metal version of himself wearing a watch, this is sort of what comes to mind. Now, it's definitely more watch than anyone needs, and it's definitely more tool watch than anyone needs. Realistically, the kind of whales who would wear this thing in Monaco are going to be found in the casino in Monte Carlo, not offshore in the water. But it's a remarkable dream and a vision of technical excess as only Hublot can execute it. Now, this watch does feature a unidirectional winding Hublot HB 1404 automatic inside. Uh, fundamentally based on the Value 7750 architecture, it's very tough. With a 42-hour power reserve, it does feature hacking seconds, so when you pull the crown, you can synchronize it to anything from the casino clock to, yes, a dive timer. But it's the perfect type of set-it-and-forget-it, no-worries movement that's also equally rugged to live up to the image that a watch like this projects. A perfect match between movement and case. The question is, is this watch the watch you want? If it is, if this vision of technical excess, if this layered technological mechanical construction appeals to you, you can see it. You can dive deep, take it home, or if you so choose, court it on our website, watchyouwant.com.